Dr. Angela Pelzo McCluskey has known she wanted to be an equine veterinarian since she was a young girl. Growing up, I always had horses and loved them. They were just the most amazing creatures I had ever seen. And as I learned from books and from trainers and from people in the horse industry, um, I got to be pretty good at knowing what to do with horses. But I was really tiny and I didn't weigh very much. And I got a lot of people reacting to me when I was young saying, little girl, what? you can't handle that big horse. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to handle that big horse. And I used to just really take offense to that. I wanted them to appreciate my knowledge and my skill with horses and not just look at my size and say, you shouldn't be able to work with that big horse. So I really felt like, you know what? If I were an equine veterinarian, I would be the highest level of professional and people would really have to listen to what I was saying about horses and what I knew about horses. And that was my goal. I wanted them to stop looking at me as just a small, short girl and rather appreciate my equine knowledge. And so going to vet school, I felt like was the way to do that. It was also the way to help the horses that I loved. When it came time to go to college, she was determined to attend Texas A&M University for both her undergraduate and Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degrees. I chose Texas A&M University because I knew it was the best. Uh, growing up, uh, when I was in high school, I worked as a veterinary technician for Elgin Vet Hospital. And Elgin is a really nice referral center for equine medicine and surgery in Central Texas. And if we couldn't fix it at Elgin, it was going to Texas A&M University. That was just the highest possible standard of care. I took a couple of my own horses to Texas A&M growing up as well. And every time I went, I learned so many things. The clinicians were amazing, the facilities were beautiful, top of the line, and I was always really impressed with the students. So I knew I wanted to go there. During her four years of veterinary school, she enjoyed every opportunity to work with horses and learned the skills she would use as an equine veterinarian. I remember for, back from my fourth year of veterinary school, um, we had a lot of time and experience to learn our skills on actual horses. And I think that was so important. In fact, it was the cornerstone of me starting my career and having the confidence when I went out immediately at private practice to start working on horses and not really need someone to mentor me or show me. Um, I learned later that really isn't the case at a lot of other vet schools. After graduation in 2001, followed by a short stint in private practice, Pelzel McCoskey took a job with the Texas Animal Health Commission. I never knew there was such a thing as equine epidemiology. I didn't know that was a real job that someone would pay you to do. Epidemiology is a really big puzzle. Uh, every day it kind of feels like you're a homicide detective. You get a couple of clues, but you have no idea what this picture looks like and you need a lot more puzzle pieces. So every day I'm consistently hunting for more clues and more pieces of the puzzle. And it's just a lot of fun. I enjoy figuring out how things happen and what went wrong and where the problem came from and how to fix it. Although she transitioned back to equine medicine, she continued to focus on infectious diseases. I think one of the best accomplishments I've achieved so far in my career um, was being able to develop a treatment protocol for equine pyroplasmosis in the U.S. Uh, EP, equine pyroplasmosis, is a foreign animal disease. We're not supposed to have it here. But in 2009, we unfortunately found a really large outbreak of it on a historic ranch in Texas. And that ranch had horses that had irreplaceable genetics. And what we ended up doing was developing a treatment protocol to clear the organism from the horse. But that's something that didn't exist prior to 2009 where we sat down and created it. Today, she serves as the United States Department of Agriculture's only equine epidemiologist and has responded to 30 major disease outbreaks across our nation. I'm so proud to be a product of Texas A&M University and not just because it has the best vet school, even though it does have the best vet school. 
Palzo McCluskey lives on a small ranch in Livermore, Colorado, with her horses and her husband, Brian, who is also a veterinary epidemiologist. <laughs> 